Hi everyone, I'm Sophie and welcome to the video. If you're a student nurse, you're more than likely going to have to have a drug calculation exam. I had three over the course of my degree and we covered tablets, liquids and IV medication. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the NHS method to work out any drug calculation. So what is the NHS method? The NHS method I have only recently learned but it's the best equation that I have found. So NHS stands for need. NHS stands for need, have and size. So basically the equation will look like this and you basically divide what you need by what you have and you times it by the size that it's in. Sounds a bit confusing at first, but once you've done it once, you've done it a hundred times. So we'll start off with tablets and we'll start with a completely basic one. We'll go for paracetamol. Paracetamol usually comes in 500 milligram tablets and the usual dose is 1000 milligrams or a gram. Using the NHS method, we will work out how many tablets we would need. Our patient is prescribed a 1000 milligram dose of paracetamol. Tablets come in 500 milligrams. How are we going to do this? So N for need is 1000 milligrams. H for have is 500. So you divide the 1000 by 500 and you get two. And then you times it by one because that is how many tablets has 500 milligrams. Does this make sense? Two times one is two. So you give two tablets. Next we'll do liquids will take morphine sulfate for example or a morph that comes in 10 milligrams in 5 mils so if we want to give 2.5 milligrams we would do 2.5 divided by 10 which is 0.25 and then we're going to times that by 5 to get 1.25 so if we want to give 2.5 milligrams we're going to give 1.25 mils simple. Now we'll move on to IVs. Um, IVs you won't really do much as a student but I, th I think they're changing it all now so that you learn how to do IVs like and actually give them when you're a student. Even though I didn't do that I still had to learn how to set up an IV and how to work out IV medication. If we take IV fruzamide for example that is 20 milligrams per two mils. So if we want to give 40 milligrams we're going to use the NHS method to see how much we should give. 40 divided by 20 is 2 and then we're going to times it by 2 because that's how much it's in. So the 2 mil basically, 20 and 2 mils. So 2 times 2 is 4, so we're going to give 4 millilitres to give 40 milligrams. I hope this video has been beneficial if you're learning how to do drug calculations. I've kept it short and sweet and concise, but I'll put some links down below to some good books and some good learning resources that you can use to help build on this skill. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below any questions you might have. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Sorry for not posting in a while. Um, I did actually have a video, but my files have like edited themselves on the camera rather than the actual file on the computer. So I can't export it and I have to re-edit the whole thing. And I'm very annoyed. Um, I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and I wish you have a happy new year and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!